what it do skate fam hitting y'all with another tutorial y'all know what time it is if you got another idea for a tutorial you want me to shoot drop it in the comments below aside from that let's get to it so today y'all know we're gonna talk about hitting up the grapevine so in case you don't know what the grapevine look like it looks something like this I don't know if it's because I'm right foot dominant, but I always start this move with my left foot. I don't know why, that's just how it go. See what worked for you. So, step one, bring your left foot across. Step two, lift the front of your foot up and point it the other direction. Step three, bring your back foot forward. So now, you in a position kind of like this. You kind of making a V. So, after you've made your V, step four, bring your foot behind your other foot but you don't want to get too far because then it's going to be hard to use your hips to whip your momentum around. So after I've done step four, bringing my foot back behind, I want to lift the, um, the back two wheels up. And now on my left foot, I'm only on the front two wheels. And then this is where, I don't know if y'all seen my video about doing the, uh, the smooth 180 turn but that 180 turn is basically half of the grapevine so after you get that foot behind you you want to lift the back two wheels up on that left foot and turn your left foot so you see how the toes on my left foot are pointing this way once i drag it behind me i'm pulling my foot back and i'm going to turn it so my left foot is going to be pointing that way after i get my foot behind me i lift the back two wheels up on my left foot i'm going to start to turn my left foot so it's facing that way so i'm pulling my left foot back and I'm using my left foot as a pivot and I'm throwing my hips open. So now I'm swinging my body some. So after I get my left foot behind me, lift the back two wheels up on my left foot. I'm kind of squatting down a little bit and I'm using my left foot as like a pivot to turn my body the other direction. So like that. Once I've used my left foot as my pivot to swing my body around, now I'm basically going back into my starting position. It is. Um, for how I just did it in this video for the beginners, um, I kept my right foot pretty much on the ground the whole time. How I just broke it down in this video is really an elementary breakdown. Once you get that rhythm of that push and that pull, kind of like some feng shui type of, once you get that down, then you're gonna pretty much be doing the moves where when, you, when your feet go back, they both gonna be on your toes. And when your feet are coming forward, and when your feet are coming forward, they both gonna be on your heels. Bring it through, flip it over, flip it over, pull it back, 180 turn. Bring it through, flip it over, flip it over, pull it back, 180 turn. Bring it through, flip it over, flip it over, pull it back, 180 turn. Um, and this is another move that, remember, it takes a lot of toe balance to get this done smooth. So if you want yours to look like... So if you want yours to look smooth, 
take a lot of toe balance, do them calf raises. And I think that's all I got for y'all today. Um, another tutorial going up, man. Let me know in the comments what you think. If this helped you out, let me know. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you leave a comment, a like, hit that subscribe button. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.